slide show bearing. They intend to operate it manual is concerned about wall supported by slide show bearings at both inlet and outlet. Construction of slide show elements in a slide show bearing consists of two water cooled barbiter slide show which supported the slide ring of the mill. The slide show bearing is lubricated by means of oil supplied from HLPC type lubrication station. The bearing nearest the drive station of the mill is designed as switched bearing, retaining the mill in the axle direction. In fixed bearing, the slide show at lifting side of the mill is fixed. This slide show restricts the axial movement of the mill. Inlet end of the mill is supported by movable bearing. When the mill shell is subjected to heating and cooling, the movable bearing is capable of observing the longitudinal change of about 1 mm per meter of mill length. Operation principle of slideshow bearing. Failure to the start up of mill, each slideshow is fed with oil from a high pressure oil pump which injects oil directly into a pocket at the central part of the slideshow. This ensures presence of oil between the slide ring faces period to start up. Next, oil for hydrodynamic lubrication is fed to the oil pans in front of the slide shows by means of separate low pressure pumps. During normal operation, the high pressure oil pumps are stopped after the mill has been started and the bearings are subsequently lubricated hydrodynamically. The slide ring itself provides a necessary oil film between the sliding surface by extracting oil from the oil pans. The high pressure pumps must be in constant operation when slow turning of mills is being carried out. The slide shows are hollow to ensure water cooling of the shows, which are babbitted cast steel fabrications. On its lower side, each slide show is fitted with a ball segment resting in a ball socket. This design will ensure that the babbitted surface of the slide show will always follow the surface of the slide ring. Movable slide shows. The ball socket is mounted on a thrust bar which is placed on rollers which in turn are placed on the bed plates. The interrelated positions of the thrust bar, rollers and bed plates are maintained by means of the spacers and the dry rides. Fixed slide shows. The rollers have been replaced by a distance block which together with the thrust bar is fixed to the bed plate with bolts. In fixed bearing, Starting bronze sky rising and hence the entire mill. During thermal expansion of the mill, the bronze sky rings in movable slideshow guide the underlying bearing parts to follow the migration of the slide ring. During contraction of the mill subsequent to shutdown. All bearing parts are enclosed in an oil and dust type cord. On both sides, the guard is provided with a combined rubber lip and felt seal to improve and ensure the sealing efficiency. Spring-loaded oil scrappers, which scrap the oil back to the oil sump. They are fitted in order to minimize the oil flow to the sealing areas. Bearing contact with the slide ring to be checked. Mark the bearings as inlet, outlet, left hand or right hand based on high pressure oil pole position facing center lines of mill and fixed bearing position as per drawing. Loosely fit the guide rails on the bearings. Open a small portion of the slide ring backing on top of the slide ring. Apply a thin layer of Persian blue on top of the slide ring. Clean the bearings especially in high pressure holes etc. Lift the bearing upside and down place it on top of the bearings. Don't change the direction of the bearing by positioning on top of the slide ring. Ensure that the marked bearings are used in proper position. Move the bearing back and forth two to three times to take the impression. 
ensure that the load of the bearing is entirely on the slide ring and not on lifting tackles. Bearing checking Contact between bearing and slide ring The contact pattern load Blue pattern should be evenly distributed across the entire weight. Ensure that the contact pattern is good around the oil pocket for high pressure oil. If the contact level is deemed to be not satisfactory, light scrapping must be executed to ensure an evenly distributed contact along the general tricks at the bottom of the slide shoe and only at this location. Bearing checking End clearance between bearing and slide ring. Measure the end clearance of the slide shoes by means of feeler gauges. The clearance yes measured at both ends of the slide shoe should be within the range of 0.05 to 0.1 mm measured approximately to 25 mm inwards that is just inside the approximate 20 mm wide chamfered ends of the slide shoe. The clearance must be checked across the entire width of the slide show. If the gap is insufficient, do slide strapping of the corresponding to approximately 20% of the length of the slide show at each end in order to attain the specified wedge shaped clearance. Mounting of load carrying parts of bearing. All load carrying parts are provided with the threaded holes for eye hold to facilitate easy handling. Clean the base plate carefully of dust, oil, burns, etc. Movable slideshow bearings. Mount the guide rails in the mill grooves on the base plate and top tighten to the required value. Mount the rollers with the spares and thrust pad and ball socket for the movable slideshows. Ensure that the rollers are free to move in the actual direction of mill center. Fix up slideshow bearings. Mount distance block and the thrust pad with ball socket using bolt holes. Torque tighten the bolt to the required torque value. Mounting of slideshows. Mount the ball segment on the slideshows. Care must be taken in order not to damage the threaded pin. Smear the spherical face with monocot or recognized lubricant top similar type. The slide shows must be oriented so that the end in which the connection for high pressure oil is fitted and spacing inward towards the bearing with the ball segment must be positioned into the ball sockets. Subsequently the slide show must be secured against tilting by fixing it with wires between high holes in the upper end of the slide show and the foundation. The slide shows must be kept as close to the final position as possible. Mounting of mill on slide shows. Proper tools and wire ropes are to be used while lifting the mill. Check the crane and rope capacity before lifting the mill to position. Lift the mill to position near the slide show. Bring the mill as close to the slide show as possible. Care must be taken to avoid any damage to the side ring or slide show parts. Align the slide rings in line with the bearings and place the mill on temporary supports. Slowly lower the mill on top of the bearing by using hydraulic jacks. When the mill is closed by, ensure that the rope wires which are used to secure the bearings are loosened. This is done to ensure that the bearing takes its own position on the ball and socket. Then lower the mill onto the bearings. Ensure that the final position of the inlet bearings are achieved. Fix the guide rails in position at inlet and outlet bearings.